investigative journalist, I try to go to places myself and get my own information. And that's why I, I went to, uh, certainly why I went to India. I spent about three weeks in India. My main purpose to go to India was to be in Bhopal, in the center of the country, for the 25th anniversary of the great Bhopal disaster. You remember from 1984, when at the Union Carbide India Limited plant, tank 610 full of tons of methyl isocyanate gas exploded, killing thousands and thousands of people. No one from Union Carbide went to prison. No one did any time. Thousands of people died. And to this day, the people of Bhopal still suffer from the toxic effects of the gas and other things in the soil left behind by your pals at Union Carbide. And so I wanted to go be with the people of Bhopal on that day. I saw in the newspaper a couple of years ago that the 25th anniversary was coming up, and I said, you know what, I'm going to be there for that. And I was, out of just you know, curiosity and a, and, a, and a desire to find things out for myself. And so that's what I did. And I was there on the day it happened, 25 years later, sitting with a bunch of people in a small park. About 200 people show up to have a memorial for the, the great Pope Paul disaster. And they have a, a, a stage and a small canopy and a microphone and a PA. And he's open mic afternoon. And if you're feeling it, you can get up and start doing your thing. And I would see beautiful, uh, dignified, elderly Indian women walk onto the stage and pick up the microphone. You can tell that they've not held one before the microphone. And they're looking at the thing, instrument is an instrument, interesting instrument. And then they start talking, a little unsure. Then about a minute later, they're yelling. And then about three minutes later, tears are streaming down their faces. They're stomping their sandal feet on the floor of the stage, shrieking as they, they, they curl their hand into a fist, basically telling stories about how Union Carbide wiped out this woman's entire family. And everyone in all the folding chairs is agitated, and they're cheering, and the, and the fists are pumping. And I was there for eight hours with these people, didn't understand a single word of it. It was all in Hindi. And finally a man walks up to me, an Indian fellow, and he says, you're Henry Rollins, what are you doing here? And I said, I was curious, man, I'm just here to learn some things, and he's a journalist. And he said, I'm a journalist covering the event.